Today we take a look at the uncovered drain menace, a looming danger waiting to happen. Join me as we delve into the issue. Covered drains like this one are scattered all over the city. As you can see, this is a potential death trap. Commuters plying this route must be careful. Uncovered storm drains have become a common sight across the capital, a potential death trap. Storm drains are openings created during construction to allow for dislodging of drains for free flow of flood waters. For pedestrians, walking along the pavement comes with a great deal of difficulty in our part of the world. The anxiety of falling into an uncovered storm drain remains high, especially for women and children. This could result in permanent injuries or even death. The situation is worse at night due to unforeseen power outages and malfunctioning street lights on major highways in Accra and some other major cities in the country. It is a death trap actually, especially in the evenings. We realize that there are a lot of even beggars on this road and some of them even this way, they actually spend the night and they can just fall in at any time and human lives are, will be lost. So I believe that something should be done. The ordinary man on the street should, should be prioritized. This is the route we use, and so um, steps should be taken to close the open drains. Not only here, I believe it's also a, a health hazard because mosquitoes at the end of the day will find their resting place here, and it won't be a good um, issue of when it comes to health because malaria would spread malaria through this um, hazard. So I believe that it should not only here but all over the country, open drains should actually be something that we should use. We should actually put resources aside to keep this menace. The AMO or the president, the governments have to come in and see to it because this one, this thing can cause harm to the, the residents passing here. Because when you are passing here in the evening, actually you don't, you do not look at it very well. You, you, fall, you fall inside and it will turn to a different thing. So I will plead with the AMA to come and check. Actually it's not everything that will pursue the government. That's why you have sex institutions to be looking at this so this one i will pray with the ama to actually look at this and deal with because this thing it is in the cent uh, center of the city When the news team visited the central business district of Accra and such suburbs as Nima, Asylum Down and Dadabraka, the issue of uncovered storm drains was a popular feature. On the liberation route stretching from the Spanner Junction to Pebia, the news team counted about nine uncovered storm drains on the sidewalks. The situation was no different from that of the Independence Avenue road. In the absence of metal grates and concrete slabs, commuters took the initiative to partially cover the storm drains with old car ties, tree locks, plywood and concrete block. Some commuters who spoke to the news team accused scrap dealers of stealing the metal grids at night. I believe it's a holistic problem, not on the side of the government, but the citizens in general, they are causing the problem. Now, if the government spends taxpayers' money to create those drains and put a cover on it, and the citizens go ar around taking off those covers, you don't expect the government to be blamed. So I think we should change our attitude. Because if you travel outside this country, the citizens are taking responsibility for their actions. So we shouldn't be blaming the government. We should blame ourselves. Because the problems in the country are caused by us, not the government. Because 
enti se ade da so de anka ya sem papa na de o mi hu ni se ye dia beto so no e o ma na se to chima e bi ade na e bi bu titu nkwala di agro side no ye enhwe ma penifo no ma ni nko ho obe hu na anajo obi akoshe mi na ebu ni nan e bi aka bi ase even chocho ya ase o parki no wa kotum ni nyina beti mi ni nkwa nhia ba ni o ha o e di abreyen enti penifo no wo around the titu assembly man for no mu titu na ya me hwe o mu because yeah, but two about women and I'm film so I'm on a agent so I'm on board man. But I'm but I'm on board man. Yeah, cause I have to do some things. Okay, then so I'm on a two minute way. No, I'm going to assembly. So I'm not going to need a damn thing. The paper plan is over. We're going to do. Now if I'm buying penny for you, I'm going to have them. Now I'm just saying, can you share that you're going to see it? Oh, I don't know. Eh, board man, tell me, board nipa. Nipa, so now you do. I just don't mind. Enti adi ane dasu na ase ane di. O di adi abetu so. O ni mse ye free maintenance check. O ma ise o be check sa adi ane na hu adi enti se ni. Enti mo be check na mo kwe na mo di si si. Ano ebe bua chance ni pe bi be prano be di dem na wa ankuwe juma. Titu ya mane ya na na anu ya na mkuwa na wa anwa kofu oha ni amani adi abre. Enti yes yes empe ni fua ni mche. Na adi sa ano mo kwe na mo si si ma. Ano mo ma o mani koso brano brano se adi abetu so a adi adi. Enti abre se ebe timi arrested. Ni a bet check ni a CSC si se de be ya yanka se ya hon beto yen na penibi a hon koba se mo. Some faceless persons have turned the uncovered storm drains into refuse dams. These have become breeding grounds for mosquitoes. As the rainy season beckons, TV Africa's alarm bells are that cholera and malaria outbreaks are imminent, even as hundreds of Ghanaians get deformed as they ram into these uncovered storm drains. It appears authorities are waiting for a disaster to happen before they take action. This has been the reporter. My name is Emmanuel Ameyao for TV Africa. <laughs>